the Mayan's darkest secrets. I know you may have heard of the Mayan people, but let me ask, do you really know their true story? Unlike other civilizations that have a well-documented history, the Mayan's history is enveloped in mystery and confusion. What would you give to take a glimpse into the truth? Well, lucky for you, all you have to do is watch this video all the way to the end as we go through the Mayan's darkest secrets. Number 1. Beauty is Pain what do you call beauty? Beautiful skin? A well-sculpted nose? A fine set of teeth? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but most of us these days would never have made it to the beauty contest in the Mayan society. Beauty for them is quite different, and it requires a lot of hard work. Body modification was basically the standard, and the modifications might come off as a surprise to you. An example of a common practice requires flattening the forehead. You may be thinking, how is that even possible? The human skull is so strong. Well my friend, you are right, which is why they start when they are just a child. To achieve this, they would clamp a plank of wood to the child's face, and this would enable them to control the way the head grows out. Amazing, isn't it? Also, the Mayans believe that any human with a cross eye signifies that they have received favor from their sun god, Kinich Ahu, who was also cross-eyed. Such an honor at that time that it led some to try and artificially create cross eyes for themselves. Children would put objects dangling between their eyes for days, hoping the sun god would favor them and cross their eyes forever. Number 2. Human Sacrifices Some practices are better left in the past. They just wouldn't be able to work in our current society. One of those major practices was the concept of human sacrifice. The Mayans were no strangers to this horrific act, and they performed sacrifices for several reasons, which range from religious to medical ceremonies. You know what the crazy part was? Back then, to be sacrificed was actually considered a great honor. How was this carried out? Through the cutting of the flesh right under the ribs and pulling out the heart that was still beating. Quite a terrible practice you might say, but that was their culture. What exactly made it an honor then? There was a generally held belief that the victims would have an immediate passage straight to heaven. To put it simply, they believed that the act helped to pass a person's soul from this earth of turmoil to a better place. I think I'd rather keep my heart for now. Number 3. Mayan Life Force Ceremony one of the major beliefs of the Mayans was that each person possessed a life force. More importantly, they believed that the life force was a source of nourishment for their gods. Just recently, a team of researchers discovered that the Mayans conducted a ceremony associated with this life force. Using arrowheads made from a type of volcanic glass called obsidian, the Mayans would cut a person's genitals, tongue, or earlobes, and then let the blood spill out. They believed that by performing this ritual, they were feeding the gods with the human essential life force. Though this ceremony was brutal, the participants were likely volunteers, and they probably survived the painful ordeal. If you've been enjoying this video so far, I won't ask you to sacrifice anything, but you can just always hit that subscribe button as hard as you can, and turn on post notifications so you can know whenever we drop another epic video. Number 4. Tortiguero, The End Inside one of the Mayan temples, there is an inscription that reads Tortiguero, meaning the end. Many persons took this as a sign for the end of the world. People argued over and over on the internet how the world would end. Some say it would be swallowed by a black hole, hit by an asteroid, or even an ancient god would devour it. But the Mayan inscription was said to be believed by the Mayans as the beginning of a new era rather than the end of time. The apocalypse is talking about the end of a cycle of 5,125 years. It was believed by many people that the world would end in 2012, but to the Mayans, the same year was to be the beginning of a new era and not the end of time as people expected. Number 5. Deadly Games The Mayans engaged in a game that featured two competing teams passing a ball using just their knees, hips, and elbows. It was entertaining but also quite dangerous. What made this game truly gruesome was that the losing team would be sacrificed in the end. The players used a variety of clothes, including a handguard placed around the wrist, to both prevent harm and make certain actions simpler. Archaeologists have recently uncovered a skull that resembles a monkey, which they believe to be a depiction of this specific handguard. The Mayans thought that even after they died, they'd continue to play their game. So, 
they made a stone replica of many outfits that they wore throughout their real life competitions. This would prepare them for the sport in the afterlife. Number 6. Stingray Bloodletting Ritual Mayans believe stingrays connected the sea with the waters of the underworld. Therefore, they used this animal to bridge the gap between the human and the divine. This was usually done by Mayan rulers who wanted to experience this themselves. So by using the spine of this sacred messenger stingray to let out blood, a Mayan monarch would connect to the supernatural by entering a dreamlike state. But the spine of the stingray carried very fatal risks. The deadliest injuries can cause necrosis, which is the death of most or all of the cells in an organ or tissue due to disease injury or failure of blood supply. No matter how careful they were, when handling defleshed stingray spines, the Mayans ran the risk of killing their own organ tissue or themselves. Why risk one's life you might ask? The possibility to transform living flesh into dead tissue might be seen as a means of attaining prestige. The loss of blood or flesh wouldn't just allow the dreaming state that the Mayans needed to have their visions, but it would also let the individual literally stumble on the brink between the world of the living and the supernatural. A Mayan monarch would then become a mediator between human and divine, similar to the stingray itself. Number 7. Where did they go? Contrary to what many people believe, the Mayan people are actually still present in Mexico, Belize, and other countries in Central America. Despite the fall of their civilization, they did not simply vanish altogether. They continued to farm while attempting to avoid prosecution. The Mayans are actually the biggest single group of indigenous people living north of Peru. Some of them are currently still relearning their ancestors' old teachings in an effort to retrace their past. Though not all the mysteries have been unraveled, a journey to greater discoveries has just begun, and this will last until archaeologists reach the peak of the Mayan ruins and bring light to all the darkest secrets of the Mayans. If you love this video on the Mayans' darkest secrets, then make sure you watch this video right here.